Thank you so much for being here. I, I'm Dr. Evan Chait, the owner of Kinetic Rehab and Spine. And, uh, and so today's topic that I want to discuss is stress during COVID. Um, but, and so I wanted to have a, a really quick meetup, hopefully about the next 15, 20 minutes, we could help transform your anxiety and your stress and be able to help you with some strategies and some techniques that will benefit you. I also have a free gift for everybody. And I'm going to save that free gift. I'm very excited about it um, because Kinetic is now open we added, and we added, we've added chiropractic to our services. And so I have a free gift for everybody at the end, uh, valued at $139.99. Right, so I want to tell you about a story. We had um, uh, an athlete, a professional athlete, and his wife I treated the other day. And uh, he had excruciating knee pain. He had pain going up and down stairs. He had pain squatting down to play with his daughter. He had, um, uh, when he sat for a prolonged period of time, his knee got really, really stiff. And it was actually on both knees. And he's a basketball player, so he needs to have his knees for a living. And uh, he called me up. He's like, Evan, listen, can you take a look at me? And so, and he's also has a new baby at home. And his, his wife put on about 50 pounds uh, during the pregnancy. And she's having chronic back issues. She can only stand and she can only walk with a walker. And because uh, she has excruciating pelvic pain. And so I started working with, with this athlete. And um, you could imagine, he has a newborn baby. His wife was in a hospital for a period of time. She had COVID as well. Uh, and uh, he was tested positive for COVID. They're fine. They're okay. But the anxiety is stress. He needs his knees to be able to to make a living. His wife is in excruciating pain and they're trying to take care of her baby in a very difficult situation during COVID. And so when I consulted with him, they both had sleep issues. And uh, what I found was during my assessment with him, we did some physical therapy on him. We, we did some, uh, uh, some movement pattern assessments and it was his mid back. And when we assessed him, I taught him some strategies to get his back to move a little bit better. But over a period of maybe five or 10 minutes, his knee pain started going away. And uh, he started the swelling around his knee, but the knee pain uh, was definitely, definitely about 80% better, he said, after one visit. And now fast forward to his wife. And um, his wife could barely stand up from a sit to stand position. Uh, she, she was in excruciating pain. She was unable to sit because of the pain in her, in her pelvis uh, from, from the pregnancy. And after doing an assessment on her, I found that her jaw was actually malaligned. And if we look at the biomechanics of the body, the jaw and the pelvis are, are very similar. And if the jaw is malaligned, so will the pelvis be. And because of the stress response that she was having with giving birth and having COVID, there's a nerve that innervates the face and that becomes very, very hyperactive. And it causes the muscles of the jaw that also go up in through here to actually become very, very tight, which was actually causing some headache issues she was having. So she was having a neck, a headache, neck issues, and pelvic pain. And I told her a simple exercise that I'll show you now. And if you ever get jaw pain and you open your jaw and it clicks, or if you have difficulty sleeping, this simple exercise is very easy to do at home. And so she started opening up her jaw and she started doing this. This is the exercise I gave her, it's, it's clucking. Yes, I know it's absolutely ridiculous, but she did that for 30 seconds. After she did that, she actually stood up and was able to walk without a walker with her pain still there, but it wasn't sharp pain anymore. It was more tightness. And the reason why that works so well is because we're actually treating the stress response inside the body. There's a neurological reflex that occurs when you relax the muscles of the face. It causes the nervous system to actually shift from a, a fight or flight response, which is a very, very stressful response, to more of a rest and digest response. So just by making that simple shift, by her clucking like this, we're able to relax the jaw, which relaxed the pelvis, which relaxed her nervous system. And her pain went from a 10 out of 10 down to a five out of 10. Then we had to go back down and sit. We did it again. And then had to get up as well and had her walk. Next few steps, she was actually able to walk instead of one or two steps, now five, 10 steps. And slowly her pain started getting better and better and better. She sat back down. Then I took it to a next level. I wanted to relax the nervous system. I'm gonna teach everybody how to do these techniques later. And so 
the vagus nerve, which is a nerve that relaxes us, innervates the ear. So all I had to do is rubber ears. And then I had to rubber ears and I had to cluck like this. Both at the same time. And that simple, stupid strategy got her pain down from a, a 10 out of 10, unable to stand up without a walker or assistance, and able to walk for, for, for more than two steps. She was able to walk into her kitchen and back out and her pain was about a two out of three. So 80% better just by rubbing her ears and clucking like a chicken. So the nervous system is extremely sensitive to not only pain, but it's also extremely sensitive to stress. And during this time right now, we have so much stress coming at us. Some of us um, are unemployed. Some of us um, are stressed because we're still fearful of, 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 of catching COVID. Even with uh, the, the amount of cases on a decline, significant decline, we still have a lot of patients coming to our offices now that, we're, that we have reopened. We've had a lot of patients that are still fearful to come in. Even though we're following all the guidelines of CDC, there's still a lot of fear-based uh, thought process out there, rightfully so. I mean, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm worried as well. I'm trying to protect my family. And we, we as, in, as in human beings, it's a normal reaction for us to be fearful. What's not normal is for us to obsess about the fear. And if we start dwelling and obsessing about the fear, we're gonna create that stress response inside our body, causing more of pain and more of, of the complex stress disorders that most of us have. Um, and, uh, and so what I wanna to do today is I wanna teach um, you guys how to actually use tapping, uh, also known as EFT, emotional freedom technique or thought field therapy. I wanna teach you how to use tapping to help reduce your stress.